Good morning and welcome to a day in my life baking for our colony. My day typically starts around 6 o'clock to 6.30 a.m. depending on the day and how much bread I have to make. Today I have to make two different types. I start by grabbing the rest of my ingredients from the fridge, the dry ingredients I prepped the night before. Then I continue on and make the yeast mixture water, yeast, sugar and then allow that to rest and rise a bit before I add it in with the rest of my ingredients. This is going to be rising for two hours now before I can start forming it. The spelt is still under the dough hook because for the next hour, every 15 minutes, I have to punch it down. o'clock and I just punched down down the dough for the second time and so I have 15 minutes I'm gonna quickly run home my house is just two steps from the kitchen so I'm gonna quickly run home and grab a cup of coffee start doing my devotional and my Bible which definitely I'm not going to finish in 15 minutes but I can then run back home and finish it after I punch down the dough for the third time nice and clean It's 
smells absolutely delightful, like autumn. Did I add enough? Because it doesn't taste like anything. I keep running back and forth, so at this point my coffee is cold, but that's okay because I absolutely love iced coffee. But anyways, I am going to run to the bakery and punch it down one last time, and then it's going to rise and sit for half an hour. Mm -mm. An hour, sorry. That was actually the preschool bell. So all the kids ages two and a half till five go to preschool while their mothers are at work. And it's not just the preschool bell, it's also the ladies work bell. Since I am baking today, I am free from all work all day. If I'm not baking tomorrow and tomorrow is work, then I go to work. It is 9.16 and I have to go check on my sourdough bread. It was supposed to rise for two hours and it is now two hours. The spelt still has till 9.30. <laughs> oh dear. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think it's, yeah, I think it's ready. <laughs> There is the spelt. For sourdough, we use these pans. The bun pans. Cheap. tray, a sheet, cornmeal, and then four loaves of sourdough. The sourdough is one pound per loaf. The regular bread is 1.5 pounds. So the spelt bread has been weighed, cut and weighed 1.5 pounds and is resting for half an hour before I form it into loaves. My mom already greased the pans for me, thank you. That's one of my worst jobs. And this is the sourdough. We definitely have more than I need. I'm cooking next week, so I made this bread for a sandwich. So the rest is going to go for breakfast and anybody that wants to take some home. 33 loaves of sourdough bread. So yeah, definitely a lot more than I need.
So for the most part, I am done. I just have to wait now for my bread to rise enough so that I can bake it, which of course takes, it takes a couple hours. Every week on Monday, whoever is baking has to dry any leftover buns and bread and then grind them. A lot of our foods call for breadcrumbs. Dry them, grind them, and then put them into the freezer. And, whoa. I just removed these from the oven, so I just have to wait for them to cool down before I can grind them, clean them up, and get them out of my hair, basically. It is 11.59 and they are still having lunch. I came to check on my bread quickly. It's rising. I mean, it's doing something. No, no! I was waiting on my buns to cool off so I could grind them. Well, I had to put them back into the oven. And once you turn the oven off and on, it starts at 300 and you have to put it back down. I didn't think and put them in at this high temperature. And look. Burned. Crisp. No, these are not going to be grinded into crumbs this week. I'm gonna throw them out. Uh, I'm, no, I'm just not. I can't. Brownies! Now onto the spelt bread. 2.30 and we finished baking. I actually already have one batch of bread in the freezer that I'm gonna use for buns, sandwiches next week, not buns. And I'll be back at around four-ish, a little bit after to clean up the rest. So I'm gonna be going home until then. It's been one long day today. <laughs> It is now a little bit after four and that completes my baking day for today. I made 53 loaves of bread in total, 19 spelt and 33 sourdough. These two types of breads don't get made that often. The type of bread that we make every week that is our common bread is just your average regular whole wheat bread. But before we set out to make a batch, we have to make sure that there aren't any leftovers from the week before. And when I checked today, there were at least 12 loaves of bread in our freezer. So that is going to carry us till Wednesday. So the next time I'm gonna be baking is Wednesday. And then I'm just going to be making that regular whole wheat bread. the reason that it says in the title of my day in the life as a baker and that is because I am this week's baker for our Hutterite community. Every week the ladies and the girls between age 17 and 45 take turns baking and cooking. This week is my week so this week I am the baker and yes I'm only 23 and I started when I was 17. <laughs> Made a mistake. I'm not 23 I'm 24. <laughs> Oops. For the Lord is my 